Renters in North Carolina cannot be evicted from their homes if they can't pay their landlord's payments due to COVID-19. But first, they must meet a series of steps to get those protections. It's actually, a, well, it's a federal crime. Under the CDC order, if, if a landlord violates that order, if they try to evict the tenant. Isaac Sturgill is an attorney for Legal Aid North Carolina. He says renters are being evicted across the state illegally. Early in the pandemic, Governor Roy Cooper signed an executive order to stop evictions. More recently, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control issued its own health-based order to stop evictions, citing financial stress and potential exposure to COVID. But evictions are still happening. Circle believes he knows why. But I think there are some judges and magistrates that are, are misapplying the law. I think our court system has failed to do anything to implement the order. Sergo also says only certain renters are protected. Both the CDC and the order and the governor's order apply to cases for non-payment of rent. So it's not any eviction case, like if a landlord's evicting a tenant for committing a crime or for other things, it doesn't apply. He clarifies what the state and federal order means. What they both essentially say is that, hey, if you're a tenant and you've lost income, if you're out of work due to COVID, um, you should be protected from eviction right now. He says keeping people in their homes slows down the spread of COVID. And the CDC and the governor both recognize that if you're homeless, uh, it's hard to stay at home and protect yourself if you have no home to stay in. The attorney also says there are steps renters must take to get the protection. So one of the important things about the CDC order and, and the governor's order is that it's not automatic. So people call it an eviction moratorium, but I think that's kind of misleading. A moratorium means it shuts down court systems from hearing eviction cases. But eviction cases are still being heard by North Carolina judges. It's up to renters to take the first step to protect themselves by acting on what courts call a declaration. They have to read it. They have to make sure it applies to them. There are certain qualifications like you have to make under $99,000 a year. Once tenants read the declaration and meet the qualifications, they have to hand it to their landlord to get the legal protection. And our courts have done absolutely nothing to try to make sure that the order is not being violated. And I think that that's leading to uh, you know, thousands of families in North Carolina that are being uh, evicted despite the protections that they should receive. Sturgill says renters need to read the governor's order and look for resources to prevent eviction. It, this is a, a, a battle of information, and so tenants have to learn about this order and how it applies to them. Sturgill is sharing resources for tenants to use. I have that information on our website at WNCT.com. In Greenville, Victoria Holmes, 9 on your side.